Good bet there are those watching us right now who still owe a nice dime on your student loans. People in their 40s are often still faced with a staggering amount of debt from something that was supposed to make it easier to get an education and pay back the cost. President Obama recently tried to do something about that with his Student Aid Bill of Rights. But there is, of course, a catch. Welcome back from CampusReform.org, correspondent Gabby Morangello, and we're also joined by the Assistant Professor of Business and Economics at King's College in New York City, Brian Greenberg. Professor, thanks for being here, and Gabby, welcome back. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. I said Brian Brenberg. I apologize for that, if you will, please. Uh, Brian, let me get to you first on this. The President's new Student Aid Bill of Rights, is this a good idea? Well, the truth is the bill really doesn't do all that much. It provides some changes on the margin around how students' prepayments will be processed, and it provides a, you know, a, a single website for students to look at their, their debt situation. But it, it really doesn't address the bigger issue of student debt in the United States. As you mentioned, I mean, we have over a trillion dollars in student debt. The average student debt is $28,000 per student. This, this particular uh, act by the president is really more rhetoric than it is substance, but it's dangerous because the rhetoric is pushing us in the direction of thinking about education more as a right and less as an investment. So then what would have been the right approach here? Because let's be very honest, we, we want to get rid of some of this debt because there are people, as I noted, who are still living under this crushing amount of debt. So how do you get them out of it? And then how do you start the new generation and not put them in it in 30 years? Well, it's, it's pretty dangerous to try to go backwards and do something about the debt that people already have. I mean, a couple of years ago, the president instituted a new policy, pay as you earn provision, which allows people to pay off their debt based on their income levels. There's some provisions of that policy that work well. There are other provisions that are dangerous. The problem is so many of these policies push the burden of the debt onto taxpayers actually instead of the borrowers. One of the best things we can do is start to get the government out of the student loan business. One of the reasons the cost of college is going up so much is because the government so heavily subsidizes college education. Gabby, let me come to you. When it comes down to actual students on campus, do they realize that what this is may seem like a great idea, but at the end of the day, it really is not the great solution that everybody was looking for? Well, students hear this and they think Bill of Rights, and that's great to them, but what this really does is enable millennials' entitlement mentality, and it encourages irresponsible behavior by suggesting that students can just borrow money as they see fit not, without really considering the consequences of that. Now, would you agree with that, Brian, that it comes down to the fact that we have millennials here who are, and we keep hearing that entitlement mentality. Do you agree with that? I do. I think we, we, we're fundamentally framing education the wrong way here. We have to think about education as an investment. When you're an investor, you don't think about rights. You think about risk. You think about reward. You think about responsibility. When you're talking about rights, you're talking about something you're owed. And fundamentally, education doesn't work if the people participating think it's about something they're owed instead of something they're investing in. So I think Gabrielle is absolutely right. We need to move away from rights language and toward responsibility and investment language. Gabrielle, what do students want as you talk to them? What would they like to see happen here in order to help their education move forward and be able to pay for it? Well, students want first and foremost, college to be affordable, and they want to be taught how to be fiscally responsible. So in order to do that, if the administration wants to be in the business of student loans, what they should do is cap student loans so that students can't borrow beyond a certain point and are then taught to be fiscally responsible, and that helps out states who then are not left, you know, accruing millions of dollars in student aid debt. Professor, the cap a good idea? I, look, I think the, be the best approach is to continue to move the federal government out of the student loan business. We want students to be making investment choices in their education, not because they can get access to money, but because the education is actually going to help them do something valuable. Right now, the federal government's involvement is so huge, it's skewing invest uh, investment decisions on the part of students, and that's really what's driving up uh, college costs. Let's get the government out of the business. What a great idea. We need to put that on a t-shirt and start putting that all around college campuses. Maybe that'll make a, maybe that'll make a dent and get the word out. Gabriella Morangello, I want to thank you. And Professor Brian Brenberg, thank you both for joining us. I look forward to the next time. Thanks for having me. Thanks. All right, everybody, take care. One more before we depart the Monday plane. And a very special tribute to America. You may not really think so, but trust me, this is from a guy who loved America and put it to guitar.